If you're trading in the Hong Kong market, then you know that today many stocks, in fact, those on my watch list, they're all green. There are two questions that you asked. Number one is that, will these moves be sustainable? I addressed this in the video that I made just now on the Polybureau news. Second question is that if it is sustainable, then which stock should I pick? And that's going to be addressed in this video. I'm going to talk about what kind of stocks can you pick or what kind of things are you going to look out for to know that these would be the stock that you're going to pick. First thing that you should do is to turn on your volume. Go to indicator here. I'm using trading view and then type in volume. Click on it. That should get you your volume indicator that you see on my chart. There's one more thing I need to change, which is under this uh, wheel here, which is the setting button. I need to key in the MA length, which is moving average that gives me the average volume for the past 20 periods. I need to click this if you want. You can change the color, but basically by clicking volume MA is to show the average volume for the past 20 periods. If I'm in a day chart, then it would be the, for the past 20 days. Now let's proceed to talk about briefly about what is volume. In stock trading, trading volume refers to the number of shares of a particular stock that are bought and sold during a given period of time. It is an important indicator of the demand for stock and can be used to assess the overall health of the stock market. A high trading volume indicates that there is a lot of interest in a particular stock, which can be a sign of bullish sentiment. A low trading volume, on the other hand, can indicate that there is a little interest in a stock, which can be a sign of bearish sentiment. Trading volume can also be used to identify trends of the stock market. For example, if the trading volume of a particular stock increases significantly, it could be a sign that the stock is about to break out to the upside. And this is what we are seeing generally right now in today's Hang Seng market. A lot of stocks trade higher and it's accompanied with an increase in volume. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? Let's run through those stocks in Hang Seng that went up a lot today. First one I have on my list that's up about 12%. It's Xpeng. I covered Xpeng in this video here before it moved up. I hope that you watched this video. Right, though, there was a resistance here. So this was the resistance. And you realize that when price broke above that resistance, the high volume was significantly higher. It's about, I would think, it's about one and a half times that of the average volume. What I usually prefer is for that particular stock to clock about twice, two times, the average volume, which I think that at this point when I first brought up Xpeng, that was a very nice breakout. Volume had about twice that of the average volume. So how do I know that this is twice? Basically, take a look at the bar of this volume and then compare against the blue line here. So this blue line is the average volume. So at that point of time, the average volume was given by the blue line. If you take a look at the bar of that day, that histogram of that day, that's the volume of the day. It's about all more than twice the average volume. So this is the type of volume that I prefer, about twice the average volume. Let's take a look at the other, another, you know, trade that moves up. That's uh, Bilibili. It's up about 12.35%. Let's take a look at the volume here. So this is the average volume at about 2.65 million. Today, the volume traded is 6.13 million. So we know that this is about twice or slightly more than twice. So that is a good volume because this breakout is certainly accompanied by price increment as well as increase in volume. What this means in layman's term would be many people are interested to buy the shares or there are a lot of shares which are transacted at the higher price today. Let's roll down the list on the stocks that I've talked about. If you realize, I've talked about Baidu in this AI video here. So this was Baidu. And let's have a look at the volume. Today's volume is about 11.3 million. And we have the vo average volume about 5.6 million. What this means is that today, that price increment is accompanied by an increase in volume and the increase in volume is about twice. Okay, it meets my condition and I love this because then Baidu is one of the stocks that I talk about in this video here. All right, what this means is that when Baidu continue to do a breakout of key levels, that means that if Baidu continue to break out the key levels I talk about and first level would be 150 
150. Second level would be about 160. This must be accompanied by volume and the volume I'm looking for will be at least twice the average volume. Let's take a look and jump a little bit to Alibaba which went up quite nicely. Alibaba is near to the breakout point of the point that I mentioned. The volume isn't that fantastic because um, it traded the average volume about 42.8 million. Today it's doing about 69 million. So that's about one and a half times. It's not the twice. Alibaba is probably not the stocks that I want to focus even though I had already these stocks. That means I bought at the low but it's not something that I want to look at it right now. Continue, let's maybe check out Tencent. Tencent, same thing, it didn't break above any of the significant levels here. That means that not this key level that I pointed out and not this key level and the volume isn't fantastic. I'm just gonna move up and to check out this stock here, that's Geely as an automotive maker and it went up by about 7.8% and let's check out the volume. Wow, what's this? Right, the average volume of Geely is 35 million. Now today, it made a 120 million. So this means that Geely almost had a 3.5 times increment versus the average volume. Right, this is good because previously, imagine, right, there's only one person who wants to buy Geely or one, per one shares transacted. But today, it transacted 3.5 times, 3.5 times the usual volume. Right, it means that as price continue to move up, there are a lot of shares being transacted at the much higher price. So this shows the bullish sentiment of Gili. Now in other words, when Gili breaks out of this resistance here, so the resistance is about $10.20, then I need to see another increment in terms of the volume to show that at even higher price, there are more shares being transacted to show that it is even a bullish sentiment. Now then your question would be, now I know the volume, the volume must be twice the average volume and then I know that there must be increment in price but you know that basically means that you are potentially trading on the breakout. Actually yes, you might be trading on the breakout but sometimes you do get an opportunity to have a better entry after the market or the stock shows that interest okay, with the volume. You realize that at times when the volume increased, like for example, this place here, Jitli had an increase in volume and that's about twice the average volume. With a huge up bar here, up trust here, Jitli actually retraces. Okay? It retraced uh, with a reduction in the volume. So this retracement with a reduction in volume shows a bit of a uh, consolidation, shows that they are a healthy change of hands show that those people who bought in here on that increment in volume didn't really have a strong interest in selling out at a much lower price. Now what I am interested to look out for after today, meaning that after today, huge rise in price and huge volume would be if there is another retracement. That means that if there should be any retracement that's coming down to close any of this gap that's being identified here, let me just draw that nicely. Close the gap that's being identified here. Then what do I need to see? I need to make sure that the volume that moves down as price retraced downward, the volume is lesser than the average volume that you see here, which is about 35 million, right? Remember this volume is dynamic, the value will change, but generally you get the idea. It must be lower, like what we are seeing in this block here, the volume must be lesser than average volume. Right, let's take another example, for example, Pai2. Pai2 also had an increment in volume that's about, I mean, probably near to twice, okay? So there's a huge gap here. So this is the gap here. In case that Pai2 doesn't continue to move up, and it starts to retrace down to close the gap, the volume must be lesser than the average volume, which is about 5.6 million. We are talking about the cumulative volume of the day. So the lesser it will be, the better it will be because why it shows that less people or less shares are being transacted at a lower price. Less people, less shares are willing to sell out in this case here. All right, last example, and I hope that you get the idea. For example, let's talk about Billy Billy. Okay, so this is Billy Billy here, right? And Billy Billy moves up with about three times that volume, 
right? It hadn't broken out of a very important level, which is this resistance here. So that's the key resistance right now. Of course, then there are two ways to handle this. If it ever moves up, then it must have an increment in volume. If it doesn't, if it continues to retrace downward, then I guess that you get the idea here. This is the gap. The volume must decline as price continue to decline into this gap here and potentially it might close the gap. The idea is the volume as it tries to close the gap should be lower, should be less than the average volume of 2.6 million. I hope that you like this video that's about volume and price. In a general bullish market, volume is what we need to look out for, especially for stock that are reversing, meaning that generally a lot of Hang Seng Hong Kong stocks, they are reversing, they are still not in an uptrend. In this case here, we need to make sure that buying interest come in, we need to make sure that there's plenty of volume to support the price rise. We want to have the money flow, so volume is key in this type of a trading condition. All right, if you like this video and you like to get more knowledge into trading, into use of wash and rinse, into the look of the different stocks market I'm covering, remember to hit the subscribe button and to press the like button as well.